F-22 versus Eurofighter Typhoon, who wins? The Eurofighter Typhoon, which was developed as a multi-role and air superiority fighter, could easily blow away most aircraft that would dare confront it. It is powered by two Eurojet EH-200 afterburning turbofan engines, which propel the aircraft to a top speed of Mach 2.0, or 1,320 miles per hour. The aircraft features a delta wing design, with a pair of canards at the front, similar to the Rafale. Its complex fly-by-wire system and its relaxed stability design provide the aircraft with almost unrivaled agility, at least until it had to face the Raptor. The F-22 in the spotlight. The single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter first entered service in 2005, and has been steadily updated. Even today, nearly 20 years after it first entered service, it is widely regarded as the most dominant fighter in the world. The F-22 Raptor is respected for its dogfighting ability and air-to-air -air maneuverability attributes, especially when compared with any other potential rival. As previously noted, the Raptor is solely operated by the United States Air Force, as it was developed as part of the service's Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, programmed two decades ago as an air superiority fighter that could also be capable of ground attack, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence. Powered by two Pratt & Whitney turbofan engines and is capable of reaching speeds of Mach 2, 1,534 miles per hour per 2,469 kilometers per hour. The F-22 has a ceiling of 50,000 feet 15 kilometers, and a range of 1,841 miles 2,962 kilometers, without refueling. Fortunately, there is little reason to think that the F-22 would ever actually have to take on the Eurofighter, and it is more likely the two aircraft could fly side by side and clear the skies of Russian MiG-29s, should Putin decide to do something stupid. And that's something we can all agree on, there is nothing in Russia's arsenal that can match either the Typhoon or Raptor.